They've only just had electricity. No, it wasn't much fun. In the oldie days, the Prince of Wales gets a free house. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. Ledbury. They have a map of Ledbury as well. That tells you where things are. It also says, thanks for visiting. Bye. Not saying Doctor Who's not good anymore. I mean, it's, it's all right. Um, but I think the Master's getting a bit complacent in it. You know, the nemesis of the Doctor. Because, look, the Master's house. Doctor Who's got to find that straight away. Stupid. As you walk down the side of the Master's house, you find the TARDIS. I mean, come on. Make it a bit more challenging for the Doctor, will you? They're just stuck on the end there, just parked. Ridiculous. I thought the buildings are amazing from the front. They're even more amazing from the back. That's a half decent phallic object, isn't it? The buildings behind me now are some of the oldest buildings here in Ledbury. And it's a shame, really, that the architecture that followed wasn't as dynamic as this because they stick out like a sore thumb now. And they were the original ones. You wouldn't know it, but this is actually um, a sporting arena. How do I know that? Well, because this is the home end. People I've spoke to in Ledbury are very nice, including in that shop there, where I made one stop. If you like expensive jewelry, you can come here to uh, Gay Man and Son. Or, if you want Tanzanite, you'll have to go over the road to the Tanzanite shop, which is that one. See, I do like shops that don't necessarily make it easy as to what they sell with the name, but I do like a clue if at all possible. Right, everything around here is referred to as the home end. So I can only assume that the way end is all the way down there. I think it I can't say anything, yeah, must be um, Quidditch they play, because there's no markings on the ground. It'd be a bit dangerous trying to play something with all these buildings, wouldn't it, under cars, so flying around. Yeah, perfectly safe. Weird names for shops, Ice Bites. That's Brave Freeze. We are not in Wales, but you wouldn't know it. Look at the size of that. Tiny! For Welshies. There's two things very wrong here. One is the build quality. Look at the way that isn't straight. It's very bad. And then they've called it Tudor Muse. Whereas obviously that's Jacobean. God's sake. You fall out with people, you're supposed to just give them the olive branch, but round here, they give them the old bloody tree. I can imagine a computer game company suing these people. DT Wells Butcher. DT Waller Butcher and sons. Very old butchers. Traditional as well, because it's green, and green is the traditional colour of butchers. Now, if you were paying attention earlier, you'll have noticed, or you'll have known why, Ledbury's called Ledbury. Well, here's the gun makers. They no longer do guns. They now make clothes. They like mixing things up here in Ledbury. Once they got used to steps around here, they took them to heart, didn't they? Near enough, every house has got these massive steps outside it. It's bonkers. Well, maybe that was, they couldn't afford the big place at the bottom with the massive stairs, so they just thought two steps. That'll stop the criminals from getting in. Hopefully it did. This is the home of LBC. You know, the radio TV place, LBC. This is one of the first Tesco's ever built, and it's here in Ledbury. It's about, I think, 600 years old? Something like that, anyway. It's a noise sensitive store. That's because it's old. Your earring gets a bit patchy, doesn't it, when it gets old? So I'm walking down a hill. It's not the steepest hill in the world, but it's still quite steep. And uh, I'm looking for the viaduct, which apparently is around here somewhere. But I don't know where it is. I don't want to go in the right way or not. But I'm going downhill, and viaduct's usually at the bottom of hills. So we could be okay. Going past the park. Mm. And there you go. Looks different than they did in the picture, but that's Ledbury Viaduct, I think. And it's beautiful. The architecture is amazing and stunning. <sighs> I've got to make all the effort to get down here. 
Whew, worth it. I've got to climb up the hill now, though. Uh, I've been keeping clear of carbs for a while now. So I've not had any bread or anything for ages because I think it's full of rubbish. But it turns out it's not full of rubbish. The bread that we buy isn't real bread because here they serve real bread. So I'm going to go in and get some... Oh, it's closed at the moment. You know the characters in soap operas don't actually live in the houses? Well, this is Abby's house, her off of Emmerdale, who's currently buffing the uh, mechanic. Somewhere. I don't know, I don't watch them. Anyway, she needs to get some paint, all that money she's earning. Get the house sorted, Abby. The other thing I like about Ledbury is the fact that if you get here early enough, you've actually got parking on the side of the road. So you can actually park your car up on the side of the road, but only on one side of the road. But the other side of the road, it's got a really high curb. So you can't do it on this side. It's a very clever way of stopping people parking, I'll be honest. If you need petrol, you sort it. They've got an SL station. But beware, this is Ledbury. Things are different. Here, you drive in on this side and drive out on the other side. They've even got signs telling you. What the f is that about? That makes no sense. I don't understand that at all. Why, 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 why? Ledbury is a very confusing place. So this is where you normally drive in, but here, that's the exit. So here we are at Ledbury railway station. I'm kind of hoping that the viaduct is around here somewhere. But I'm not holding my breath. This is the railway station house. It's, it's quite posh. Ugh. Right. Sorry, you got a thumbprint on your uh, lens then. So we're coming into the railway station. Can we see the viaduct? And the answer is no. I'm thinking that's the viaduct because it's straight and the train has had to do wibbly wobbly to get around it. Another walk, I guess. Look at this, we've got a fruit packing firm here that pack fruit. Fruity. So down there is the uh, packing factory for the fruit. And if we go over this style, in style, obviously, it's not easy one-handed. Oh yeah. You find the orchard that they pick the fruit from. But it doesn't get much fresher than that, does it? An actual orchard and the fruit picking factory just down there. Oh, super fresh. This must be annoying. You've got the biggest house in town. You get this little canopy thing over the front door to make it look posh and special and make it stand out as being the best one in the world. And then the scruffy neighbors opposite copy it. Fuming. They don't have a Primark here in Ledbury, which means they've got to look after the clothes rather than throwing them away after one wash. And they've got this, which is a washing place. It's like a washerwoman thing where washers wash things and then dry things. So your clothes last a bit longer. But when a Primark opens, that place will be gone. I'm not saying they're poshy, but you know when you pretend to write an address and you put Mr. Anybody, uh, and somewhere street, any town or whatever, not here, look at that. Mr. T MT Box, 1 Wide Street, Big Town, UK, our repairs department, online shop, UK. Wow, homies as well, the best company in the world to send your parcels to if you want them throwing. So if you want to come somewhere that's got interesting architecture, including a nice phallic tower, uh, the first security systems ever installed in buildings, probably, some really nice people, a really nice softly spoken accent, you can do a lot worse than come to Ledbury. So until next time, Bye. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round.